guys, I am doing a NYX haul. I got eight items recently. Some I have tried already, other ones I haven't tried too much, I've just kind of swatched it. Um, but I'm going to show you those. If you just want to see the haul, you can probably skip ahead one more minute. I'm just going to quickly talk, um, update people. I have been sick this past week, so since I got back from my cruise, I have had a cold. So I just really didn't feel like filming. I've been sleeping most of the day when I get home from work, or most of the evening, I guess. Um, so yeah, that's why you haven't seen a video this past week except for when I first got home. Um, but I have now updated the pictures on my blog, so I'll put a link to that below, fadingdreams300.com, where you can see just little snippets of our cruise. And I will be posting the blog that has kind of highlights of the whole cruise on this channel and then the individual videos or vlog videos on my other channel. But honestly, I haven't got a chance to even look at them yet just because I've been sick and not wanting to go on the computer. Um, but also I do have on my other channel now uh, how I have done over the cruise fitness-wise and weight-wise. So I'll tell you if what they say is true, if you'd really gain a pound a day or if I gained a pound a day. Um, so I'll update you guys with that. Okay, so now into the haul. The first two items are jumbo lip pencils. This is a pink, a light pink one, and it's actually called pink brown, even though it's like a pale pink. But that's it right there. And on your lips, it's actually a little bit more um, like shiny Barbie pink than I would have hoped. <laughs> um, but you know, that's okay. And then the other one is called Chaos. And that's actually what I have on my lips right now. It's quite bright, as you can see there. From the picture, I didn't, I don't know, I didn't think it would be quite, quite so bright. Um, but yeah. And then the next item is a full coverage concealer because I am still in search of an amazing concealer. So I have given this a try for about a week now. You can see my little indentation in it. And I got mine in Fair and it's the Above and Beyond Full Coverage Concealer. And sorry about my voice, it is kind of getting scratchy, but yes, I am sick. I have some good things to say about this and some really negative things to say about this so I will be doing a review on this because yeah I have enough to say about this to cover a whole review so stay tuned I mean it will only be in probably a few weeks but that will come. Next I decided to try their HD eyeshadow base, their primer. Basically I was running low on my Urban Decay primer potion so I thought I'd just give this one a try. You just have the doe foot applicator. I was going to do a review on this, but I don't have too much to say. Um, at first, I put a little bit too much on and it creased. And I was like, oh my god, this is an awful primer. But then I put a little bit less on, uh, obviously, and it didn't crease anymore. So yeah, at first I thought this is like a waste of a product, but no, it's not too bad. The next item I'm actually very excited about, it is an eyeliner, but it is a felt tipped liner. And I got mine in black brown, and yeah, what it is, it really just looks like a fine tipped felt tip pen. So, like that. And I had one of these from, I think, e.l.f., but it didn't last very long, it just dried up. So, yeah, I thought I'd give this one a try, and then maybe I'll go back to e.l.f., but I mean, shipping to Canada is so expensive, so even if you only pay a dollar, it's, you know, then it and turns to $13 so yeah or something like that and I got this in dark brown but I really like that it's like a felt tip pen I think that's really cool then I got an eyeshadow and <laughs> this is the color here it is just kind of like a taupey color a light taupey color and it's called my favorite color <laughs> and it actually is called that now I was just going to use this kind of as either a highlighter or just kind of a neutral color but what I didn't realize is that it actually has like sparkles in it not just like a shimmer but it actually has sparkle pieces so when you put it on your eyes it's not like a whole bunch but you can actually see the sparkles and I'm not a big fan of sparkles so it's kind of disappointing um, I think if you were just to use it as your uh, base that would be fine or like on your lid but I like using like this kind of color on my brow bone as well and then it will just look ridiculous <laughs> if I have sparkles all the way over here so I'll still use this I'll just have to find 
a different way to use it than what I had originally planned, but that's fine. Then next we have a face powder. It is in translucent medium, and it's just, yeah, a loose face powder. You get it kind of with the puff, but I'm going to throw this out. And there was a sticker on it, but I took that off. Right now I'm using the Aveda one, but although the Aveda one is double the size, it's kind of pricey. So I'll probably stop using it after a while. So I wanted to give this one a try. It's actually a little bit darker than the Aveda one, but the Aveda doesn't offer any color. It's just um, to take away the shine. So I thought, you know, I'd give this a try. And actually it is a nice... Um, color it's not too dark because that sucks when it's like darker than your foundation so I chose well um, and then the last item is a nail polish and it's this pretty pink color and I don't have it to swatch yet it is called baby pink and it is a matte color so I'm excited about that at first I was just like oh it's a cute pink color but there are so many others that are this color but because it's matte that's why I wanted to give it a try I only have a couple matte polishes and usually they're like the stronger and darker colors I have like a dark green and a deep red so yeah I saw this and I haven't really been able to find a lot of matte polishes so that's why I decided to give this a try alright that is my haul that is everything I got from NYX if you have any questions or you want to see a review aside from this concealer, which I will be doing, then let me know. If not, thanks for watching, and I will be posting her videos soon. I just haven't gotten around to it. Thank you. Bye.